look at the vlog. It was raining and pouring a while ago, but now nice and sunny, even hot. So let's do a rare Sunday afternoon spin up the mountain. Posted this on my Instagram. Looks like the weather is cooperating. Here, have a look. I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to bike this morning, and last night I was out in a party. And I saw some friends and I gave myself two beers. <laughs> and you know, we talked, uh, we talked about what it was like back when we were younger, going out. It's a noisy spot where I chose to talk, huh? <laughs> At least you have some background music. We talked about what it was like going out before. I used to be a musician, used to do gigs, so a lot of my weekends were spent in bars playing music and uh, I really miss those days but I told them ever since I got kids you know going out at night seems like such a huge ordeal like you go out you drink a couple of drinks and then when you get back home you still have all your responsibilities the next day it doesn't change you know and it's hard <laughs> can't i personally can't do it somehow i found myself cycling and i quickly discovered that cycling you know as a lifestyle really fit uh being a parent doing what i'm doing lately you know i get up early in the morning no one else in the house is up yet i gotta go out on a nice bike ride enjoy that part of the day and by the time I get home, everybody is up for breakfast and we're getting ready for the rest of the day. It's nice, man. Cycling fits my current lifestyle, you know? Position when able. Although I do enjoy a good beer every now and then, but even if you, even when I drink, like I always feel it in the morning when I wake up, and you can also, I also see it in my resting heart rate. Usually, I have a resting heart rate of like. 45 or lower when rested sometimes 44 but whenever I'm, I am I do like a really heavy day or I drink the night before my resting heart rate goes up so this morning it was almost at 50 like 49 or something so and you know I really did feel it when I got up so there was a lot of changes in life in general there were definitely aspects of that old lifestyle that I miss. I miss making music, hanging out with my friends, <laughs> my bandmates, my friends were bandmates, but coincidentally, none of them are in Cebu anymore, so I wouldn't get to hang out with them anyway. Yeah, it was just a different lifestyle. I miss it a little bit, but I don't know, I feel like what I'm doing right now suits me more. This is the most fit I've ever been in my life. I get to be outside. I've enjoyed going out cycling with my friends. And even on days like today, I've enjoyed going out by myself, climbing up mountains, 
on a bike ride. Something about like solo rides that get you to just clear your head, you know? All right, let's go hard up this mountain. cloudy all of a sudden <laughs> hopefully the weather still cooperates <sighs> I do enjoy coffee more than beer though glad I was able to fit that ride in. I was supposed to go on a ride yesterday and I just couldn't and I knew I wanted to ride today and it started to rain. There was a window of a little opening, a little weather opening, a little time schedule opening. Basically I was, I was able to get my parents to watch the kids. So I went out on a two-hour bike ride and it felt good. So the ride was 35.37 kilometers, two hours 19 minutes and 35 seconds moving time with 1059 meters of elevation gain also in a previous episode i mentioned that i turned on the youtube memberships it's a way for you to show monetary support to youtubers and since the last time i mentioned it i got three new members so quick shout out to rgs on stevie 76 and the bike scouts thank you so much for supporting the channel so if you want to support, uh, give it a look. There's a membership link down below in the YouTube description somewhere. Give that a look. All right. No boring days. Please subscribe.